Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do April favorites. I know it's almost mid-May. I had the best intentions of doing it earlier in the month, but it has already been a crazy start to May and I have so many fun things to share with you from the month of April. So I've got an assortment of everything today from a hair tool, beauty, makeup of course, skin care, some clothes, perfume. We've got the works. April was a big month for me. I went on a couple trips and I just have so many discoveries that I can't wait to share with you. So if you are interested in seeing my April favorites, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first I have to share my little Olaf's first pop cut with you. Let's show them how pretty you are. Look it. <laughs> if any of you have seen pictures of Olaf before, he had some very flowing locks and it was time for him to get his first pup cut because he was starting to get matted and all of that. But I think he looks adorable with his pup cut. And speaking of hair, I thought I would kick off my April favorites with a tool that I have completely fallen in love with. So I recently used this in a get ready with me. So you've already hear, heard me talk about it, but it is the Zuvi Halo Hair Dryer. I'm sure many of you have seen these all over Instagram. I did too. I've been super intrigued by this hair dryer and I have to say, it is all that. So what makes this hair dryer unique is that it has a patented light care, um, basically technology in it, which is going to dry the surface of your hair with light instead of hot heat. And so it makes your hair dry quicker. It makes your hair retain more moisture. I also find that it makes it a little bit shinier, a little bit easier to manage, a little bit smoother. And it is said to retain your color for longer as well. So that was part of the reason that I was intrigued by this hair dryer was because, yep, I go monthly to get my gray done, um, have my hair colored, and I know that can be damaging to the hair, but I also try to use good hair care products as well as tools, and I have just completely fallen in love with this. I'm going to show you a cutaway so you can see me using this in action, but part of the reason I like this is because I'll start with this. They have easy different little components that snap on easily. I'm going to start by drying my hair with the light care, this one, so that it gets pretty much dry. And then I will go in with the styling component. And I swear this is the part that makes it look shiny. It just snaps right in. But then you want to kind of style your hair down the shaft. And I swear it just makes your hair a little bit softer, shinier, and it really does dry my hair quickly. So I have fine hair. Mine is very thin, sort of fine hair. Um, I've been trying to zhush it up a little bit, wear it a little bit fuller. And I think the condition of my hair has been improving since using this hair dryer. So I've had a few of you asking me lately how I've been styling my hair, what have I been doing differently, and I think I need to attribute it to this hair dryer. It also comes with a diffuser for curly hair. I will admit I have not tried that component yet, but I do have wavy hair, so that might be a fun video for me to actually use the diffuser and try to like make my hair a little curly. Might as well, a little bit of fun here. But uh, this is what I have been using for the past month, a little bit more than a month. I have been using the Zuvi hair dryer absolutely love it. My daughter is trying to steal it. Not going to let that happen, but she loves it as well. And she also has 
fine hair that is a little bit wavy and she gets her hair highlighted and so she has been using this since she's been home from college and I was just laughing I was like don't even think about it she loves to steal my stuff I was like that one is going to be for me I will have to pick one up for you and yes I do have a discount code that I will leave in the description box below if any of you are interested in purchasing this hair dryer I'm so excited because Jill, a subscriber here, she bought it the last time I used it in a video. She wrote me, she's like, yep, I love it. I'm so glad I got it. She feels like her hair is healthier. So just wanted to let you know, I always try to share the good stuff with you, let you know if it is worth the investment or not. And this is one that I've been loving lately and do think it is worth the investment. Okay, I've got a few skincare items. One of the most amazing things I did during the month of April is I went on a little trip with my friend Angela Morgan. We went down to San Diego and LA. We were able to go to the New Face headquarters and get an amazing New Face facial as well as meet the owner go out to dinner and I sort of learned all about her business we got to stay at the new face house um, this is actually where the owner Tara Valdez and her mom actually lived and her mom used to do treatments in the garage of the house that we were staying it was literally like a dream come true to stay at this amazing home meet the owner go out to dinner learn the history of the brand and learn all about how microcurrent really is like the face trainer. So it made me come home and realize the power of consistency when you are using microcurrent. So such an amazing tool, but the key is consistency, but I swear it pays off. You just have to make that commitment. And so it was so fun to sort of recommit myself to that tool because, you know, we all go through phases, but truly it does make a difference in your skin, the lifting elasticity, all of the good stuff. So that was definitely a highlight in the month of April, as well as going to the Conrad Spa. This is one of the only spas that carries the Codage brand. This is Codage Paris, and it is such a cool brand. And I did pick up a few items, and one of my favorite from the brand is this Codage. This is the Night cream and this is just fantastic. I'm just obsessed with it. It's got a really nice rich texture perfect at nighttime when you are going to be more in the restorative mode at nighttime and I just love it. It's rich and buttery and luxe um, but it doesn't it's not too heavy like I wake up and my face feels super hydrated a bit glowy um, and as just as if it has soaked up all of that hydration. So I've really been enjoying this Codage brand and this one plays really nicely with Biologique Recherche. So I have been tinkering around playing with a few other brands. I usually just stick to sort of my basic routine and then I'll add in a few new products here and there. The other one that I picked up when I was in LA, I went to Violet Gray and I'm always asked about, you know, what's like one serum that's going to do it all. And I get it. I'm somebody who really enjoys their skincare routine. I love putting makeup on every day, but I also really enjoy taking my makeup off at night. It is sort of my form of self-care, but I do know not everybody likes a million different steps, um, that they are just looking for a few key products that are going to do it all. And one of them I discovered is from 8th day and this is the regenerative serum i have literally been using this since i picked it up in la and this is your one and done 
serum. So this all-in-one serum has peptide rich plasma, which is a proprietary patent pending skincare technology composed of 24 bioidentical synthetic peptides, growth factors, and amino acid. This has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, glycolic acid, alpha lipoic acid, manuka honey, savage ginger root extract, and not grassed flavonoids that are going to protect, heal, and reset the skin. So literally, this baby's going to do it all. It's going to lightly exfoliate your skin. It's going to provide that hydration, has hyaluronic acid. It's got those rich peptides. It has all of those ingredients that you look for um, in all of your anti-aging serums all in one and I have just been loving this. I've been using this in the AM and the PM as my serum and I feel like I have been seeing results with this sort of supercharged serum. So really enjoying this and again I know many of you have been asking me like just one serum not like all these different ones. I would say this is the one to try. It is a fantastic brand, very interesting, it makes me want to try some of their other skincare as well but can highly recommend this serum. And then one other skincare that I have been adding into the mix, I'm a big fan of Otour. You guys have heard me talk about this brand before on my channel, but unfortunately I'm at the age where I really need to use a neck cream. This is a neck and decollete cream and I absolutely love this. So this one I feel like it does so much because I actually feel like it's firming up that skin. So the elasticity on my neck, unfortunately, I feel like I woke up and then all of a sudden my head like turkey gobble neck and I was so sad. Um, and so I would say if anybody's younger watching this video, go ahead, start the neck cream earlier rather than later because I wish I had paid more attention to that area. This neck cream is like one of the best I have ever tried because not only is it like moisturizing for this delicate area, but this one truly feels firming. Like when I use this, I literally feel like it does a little and kind of tightens up this area. I have been using this for more than a month. I literally just use one pump. You can do it in the AM and the PM. It does have a less irritating form of retinol in it. I'm going to flash up the name because I'm not going to say it right, but it is basically HPR. And then I will list the actual name because I know I'm going to butcher that. But basically that is a less irritating form of retinol and it is going to stimulate collagen and improve the density of the skin. So it is just a really fantastic neck cream and again a little goes a long way with the Otour products. They are pricey, they are an investment, but literally I was taught to just use one pump. They have designed it that way for less is more, so you don't need to do several pumps. You're going to do one pump. I just put some of that right on my hand, but literally the texture of it is very hydrating, but it also has this firming effect. Even on my hand, I can feel that it's sort of like tightening up the skin. So I have been loving this um, Definitive Neck and Decollete Cream. I've also done a whole video on this line if you're curious. I'll link that below when I'm leaving this product in the description box just in case you are curious but that is another brand that my skin tends to do very well with. Moving on to some makeup products. I've got a couple eye products that I want to share with with you. One of my most favorite, this is an eye quint, is from Dior and this is the beautiful Eden Rock eye quint. 
I am completely obsessed with this eye quint. I love this little pop of blue right here, but I love a little pop of blue eyeliner on my eyes. And then they have the perfectly beautiful bronzy colors here, sort of a little soft sand color. And I love this little pop of kind of an amber or peach tone. Um, I just absolutely love this eye quint and it has been my go-to. This is the one that I've been traveling with and I just think it is absolutely gorgeous. So. I also fell in love with this adorable. This is the limited edition Christian Dior bronzer. I already had one of their bronzers but it was not in this adorable packaging. I think this is so darn cute for summer, but this bronzer is also amazing. I picked this up in shade number three, and I really do love this. I own this also in shade four, um, but I find that three is perfect for right now, sort of as I'm transitioning from spring to summer that this is such a great shade i'm actually wearing this today on my skin but i really like this bronzer it is a luminous matte meaning it's a little bit more of a matte but it's still going to give you a little bit of luminosity and i just think it's a gorgeous bronzer i feel like this one's a little underrated because it's a really fantastic bronzers um, some bronzers get all the buzz and i feel like this one doesn't get as much love when it really is a fantastic formula. Definitely a little bit more matte that I feel like it looks very natural on the skin and I just love this one. So this was another favorite and again the packaging is just to die for. Now speaking of bronzers I have one other favorite. This is from Hermes. I ended up picking up shade number three Sahara. I had already shared Atlas with you, but I ended up picking up number three because so many of you told me that I'm going to love Sahara a bit better than Atlas. And you're right, I absolutely do. This just has a little bit more depth to it. It's got a little bit more of that rich cocoa color to it. And it is just so pretty. So let me give you a swatch of that. So this one's number three from Dior. And then this one is number uh, th three <laughs> from Hermes. This is Sahara. And as you can see, this is a little bit more warm. And this one's going to have just a tad bit more, like a little bit of a rich cocoa undertone that I really love. And again, you can always kind of mix and match your bronzers too. You could put on a slightly deeper one and then top it with this sort of golden bronzer to kind of really give you a nice little natural look on the skin because again your skin isn't going to completely be one color just like with your bronzers you can kind of mix and match them as well but as we are coming into the summer months I'm somebody who has to fake a tan because I'm someone who's going to burn and so I'm going to lean on bronzers liquid bronzers all that stuff to give me a little golden glow on the skin and actually protect my skin from the sun but that is another favorite I'm so glad you guys nudged me to pick up this color in Sahara because I really like this one. This one is a mineral powder as well. So when people are asking me, which one do you like better? I probably would say I truly like both the Dior and this one. Um, this does have a silky mineral powder finish to it that I do like. And then the Dior has more of a nice natural matte finish but it is a bit luminous as well. There's no shimmer or anything in it that I really appreciate. There's no shimmer in this either. Um, sometimes there's those glowy bronzers that have that in there, but I truly feel like the more matte ones look just a tad bit more natural. Okay, little detour to bronzers. Back to eyes. When I was in LA going to Violet Gray, they sell Victoria Beckham in store and I did pick up 
two of the Victoria Beckham. These are the I Wear Shadow Sticks. I have literally been obsessed with eyeshadow sticks for the past month from my Bobbi Brown, Laura Mercier sticks to the Victoria Beckham I wear shadow sticks. They're just super easy and my go-to eye has literally been taking a little bit of bronzer. Sahara is great on the eyes and then putting that in the crease and then using a shadow stick on my lid that has just a little bit of shimmer or a little bit of luminosity on the eyes. And the two that I picked up were the color caramel and oyster and I'm wearing a little bit of both today. I just love these. They are super buttery and smooth texture. I love the colors. I wanted to pick up another one but it was sold out. I think it might have been pecan. There was a few others that I wanted but they were sold out there. You guys let me know which ones are your favorite colors but these are the two that I picked up. Oyster is the really beautiful champagne color there. It's a little bit cool tone too. And then here is caramel or caramel. Uh, you can say it either way, but it is just a perfect bronzy shade. Absolutely love it. I like to wear those together again with just a little bit of a crease color that is going to be a bit more matte, um, such as my bronzer. And then I'm just calling it a day, like really simple eye makeup, um, kind of getting into that summer mode where I want to, of course, look put together, but not wearing a ton of makeup. And I feel like these shadow sticks are just perfection glide on, stay on, have not had any issues with them. And I would highly recommend these. As far as which shadow sticks are the best, I think that might make a great video because I really like the Bobbi Brown formula. I really love the Victoria Beckham formula. And with some of these, it's like the color story. So if there's a certain color that you absolutely love, it kind of doesn't matter which brand it is. It's just that you're in love with that color. So, but I definitely recommend these two colors. I think you'd get a ton of wear out of them. Okay, for lippies, I have two from Hermes that I absolutely love and recommend. This is the Hermes Lip oil and this is the most beautiful berry tone. I just love it. And that is actually what I'm wearing today. And it is just such a beautiful color. I really like the feel of these lip oils. Is that just not the prettiest color ever? I just am obsessed with it. Um, and these are going to feel a little bit thinner and they are going to stay on the lips like they do really last. That's what I would say as far as a lip oil. Um, this one really lasts. I really like the color. I want to buy a few more of them. That's how much I like these lip oils. And as many of you know, I'm a Dior lip maximizer lover. Still absolutely love them. And this one reminds me of Berry. And the difference between the two of those is that the lip maximizer is going to have a touch of that lip plumping tingle to it, where this is a lip oil, slightly thinner texture. So if you are not somebody who needs to plump up their lips, but you love this color, I would go with one of these. And they each have like a little different scent or taste to them, um, each of the different colors. So I thought that was kind of cool as well. This one sort of tastes like a little bit like berry, kind of like a little berry popsicle taste for this one. So I've really been enjoying this color. And then I picked up one of the adorable shiny Hermes lipsticks. And yep, you guys, the packaging is just so darn cute. I am a prep at heart, grew up in the 80s, 90s, had the preppy handbook. So when I see these really cute sort of preppy lipsticks, I'm very attracted to them. And this one is actually Coral Parasol. And in general, I tend to go towards more berry tones, but I love this magical color here. It is so perfect for summer and it just looks gorgeous on the lips. 
This is the color right here. I'll actually give you a swatch on the lips too. It is the perfect summer kind of nude lip. So if you have a little bit of a tan on here and you pop on this coral parasol, it just is a really pretty look. Let me give you a little swatch of this. And this is the shade Coral Parasol. Full, super fun little splurge item. This is something I picked up at the actual Hermes store. I will always remember these goodies from my trip to San Diego. Okay, I have another lip product that is so cool. And this was a new discovery that I found at Violet Gray. And this is from Farrah Homedy. This is the Essential Lip Compact and she is a famous makeup artist and has created like the perfect lip products. I believe that her philosophy is that the lips are a huge focal area on your face and she has perfected like the perfect lip product. So up on the top, you get a primer that is so lovely and silky. It does something magical to the lips. And then you've got this gorgeous color that comes in different ones. She has these reds and then the nudes, and then they have different undertones for each of them. And this is nude number one, which is a pinky nude with a neutral undertone. And I literally love, love, love this lip product because it like stains your lips. It's super long lasting. I ended up picking up her lip liner as well. And this one is in Doe, kind of your perfect nude lip liner. It goes perfectly with this compact. But honestly, I couldn't resist the kind of blue packaging. I mean, it is really nice and weighty and they have refills for this. But I will admit the packaging drew me in. And then when I was at Violet Gray, I have a friend, Jacqueline there, and she was like, yes, this is a must get product here at Violet Gray right now. They had just launched it. And I can see why this is like a best seller because it is a unique formula, very long lasting, but that primer that you put on first, then you put on this lip product that is going to sort of stain your lips and just really give it this velvety kind of natural look. And these lip liners are fantastic. And she does have other colors within the lip liners. I actually think I want to buy a couple of the different ones. There's one called Minky that looks good. Um, velvet, like honestly, all of the lip liners if you are a lip liner fan, definitely check these out. They're called the Smudge and Contour Lip Pencils. Um, but again, you can use these as your lipstick kind of put a little gloss on top and they work fantastic too. So I highly recommend checking out these lip products. And again, I can't wait to see what she's going to come out with next because these are winners. Now, another highlight from our trip was actually meeting the owner of Perfume Head. That is Daniel Giles. And we actually got to go out to dinner with him and his head of marketing. Her name is Heidi. She is amazing. And she used to work at Violet Gray. And so that was a super fun dinner. And it was so fun to actually hear the story behind how he created Perfume Head. And I've just fallen in love with Perfume Head. I've done a whole video with all of the perfumes. So I will link that below if you're intrigued by this brand. Each of these are hand poured. Each of these perfumes has a LA based story behind them. I think of this as LA in a bottle. Specifically, I got the Somewhere fragrance. Okay, so this one smells like LA in a bottle to me. I did used to live there twice before. And this is a fresh, 
floral. There is some warmth to this fragrance as well, but it is fantastic for the heat because there's this burst of like lemon blossom and bergamot in here that sort of cut through the heat. And then these beautiful florals come in that truly really remind me of just being in LA. Um, this is described as sort of kind of sunbathing in a little hidden oasis in LA totally think this is captured in this perfume. That is what it smells like. There's frangipani in here, a little bit of neroli. This also has this sort of clean element from the patchouli in here. There's also some creaminess from some sandalwood and some skin musk. So it's just a perfect fragrance for summer. I'm literally obsessed with this. I've been wearing it so much lately because here the weather has just like completely become summer, 75s and 80s. And I've just been kind of gravitating towards my summer fragrances and I'm just obsessed with this somewhere just a beautiful fragrance now speaking of obsessions I got an early Mother's Day gift and I really am completely obsessed with this fragrance and this is bond number nine this is Greenwich Village so my friend Deb She's a subscriber, had told me that I have to get my nose on Greenwich Village. I am so glad I did. So this was one of these fragrances that I like smelled, I put on immediately, like it was love at first sniff. And it also just felt very me. There's and there's some fragrances that just like make you so happy. Um, they just really mesh with you and your chemistry. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is such a me fragrance. I'm just literally obsessed with it. This was an early Mother's Day gift and I loved it so much that I even went ahead and bought the Silky Body Cream to go with it. That's how you know that I'm absolutely obsessed with a fragrance when I'm gonna layer it on. I love it so much. They were having a 15% off site wide and I was like, I need to get the Silky Body Cream as well. So you're like, what does it smell like? Mm, oh my God, it's so good. So it is fresh, it is fruity, it is floral, it's slightly powdery, it's slightly aquatic, it's slightly sweet. Um, it kind of dries down a little musky in the best way possible. Um, I just, it's literally sort of hard to describe. Let me quickly give you the notes here. There is lychee, cassis, and mandarin orange. Um, when I first read those notes, I was like, mm, lychee can be a little sharp and screechy on my skin. Wasn't sure I would even like this. So glad I didn't let that deter me from trying this. And the florals are going to come in and you've got peony, water lily, and jasmine. I absolutely love perfumes that have peony. That's what I've realized. That is one of those florals that I really like. And then in the base note, you've got abroxan, praline. That's where a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of gourmandness in here. Vanilla. Love that musk and oak moss. There's a freshness to it. There's a warmth to this. There's almost like a little tropical vibe to this, but it is not sunscreeny or too fruity. Um, it just is a mix of different things, but it all works. And it also has this very addictive, amazing scent trail. And I think that's another thing, the other fragrance that I think of that has that kind of amazing scent trail is that Baccarat Rouge 540. That one is going to kind of stay with you. You're going to have wafts throughout the day. Um, it's kind of known for its scent trail. And I would tell you that it has does not smell anything like Baccarat 540, but it has that vibe. It's got that scent trail. So I think that makes this one super special. I mean, it's truly unique because I'm having a hard time describing it to you. But what I can tell you is that this literally has like shot up into like my top 10 
favorite perfumes of all time. Like when I have an experience like I did with Greenwich Village and it feels like a me fragrance, something that I'm not going to get sick of, that I'm just like immediately in love with and the love continues on, um, that's when I know that it's one of these lifer kind of perfumes and I really do just cannot recommend this enough. It is such a beautiful scent and that is Greenwich Village by Bond number nine. Okay, then last but not least, I have a few clothing items that I have fallen in love with that I need to share with you, especially as we are coming into warmer weather. And I first want to start with some sandals or slides. And these are from Sam Edelman. They are the Bay, I believe it's the cut out slide sandal. I know these are super popular and now I know why because they are so comfortable. They are so cute. Um, I ended up buying this really fun color. I love the little teal and the orange. They're just absolutely adorable. But the one thing I will tell you is that these are the kind of sandals that you put on right away and they're super comfortable. They go fantastic with your dresses, with your jeans, with your um, shorts. Like these are the perfect little slip on slides and I just love them and I can see myself collecting more colors. I want to get the black ones but I have been wearing these non-stop. I believe this color story right here is on sale right now. I got these at Nordstrom on sale. I could not resist. I thought they looked absolutely adorable. These sandals are so darn cute. Highly recommend them. And these are also reasonably priced. Okay, then I've got a couple Jenny Kane items that I just love and I think are perfect for summer. So I love Jenny Kane sweaters, all of their cashmere, fantastic. But now those are not the sweaters that I'm going to be wanting to wear during the summer months. So I love their cotton sweaters. And especially when you are, it may be warm outside, but then you're going to a restaurant and there's air conditioning. I'm always somebody who's going to be a little bit cold. And I really love this cropped cotton cocoon cardigan. And this one is in mocha. And you guys, it's just a really beautiful sweater. I want to see if you can see the texture of the cotton. It is so beautiful. I have this in navy. I bought the navy one last year. And I literally wear it nonstop during the summer months um, because it is the perfect kind of height. Because you can wear like a little tank or a tee underneath and then kind of take it off and wear it just over your shoulders when it is hot and you're outside, but then you go inside and the air conditioning's going on and you're slightly cold. Um, it is the perfect sweater, so well made, and I love this mocha color. I just think it's really pretty. It's such a pretty neutral color. So love this sweater, and I have this in extra extra small so it does run a little bit large and it's just such a beautiful piece to wear with jeans shorts dresses this is just a staple piece in my wardrobe and again i have the one in navy from the previous year that is still in fantastic condition and i've worn it a ton now the next piece is a dress that is just the best summer dress ever. It's called the road dress here. Looks like I'm gonna have to show you some pictures. This is the perfect sundress. It fit me to a T. I just love it. It is in navy. This is raw silk. It is lined inside and it has pockets. They also have this dress in white. I'm almost tempted to get it because it fit me so well that I always like to have just like a dress on hand that in case we have to go out to dinner last minute I have something to put on. And again I can see myself wearing this with either this 
cropped cardigan or my navy one would go fantastic with this. And it's just such an elegant dress, but I love it because you can kind of dress it up or just wear it casually. It's really beautiful dress and it's perfect for the summer months. So I love that dress and I'm so excited because I'm wearing it to my little Mother's Day brunch that my family's taking me to. And then last but not least, I could not resist this indigo blue. This is a cotton tunic sweater. Um, I just, this color was just screaming my name. Again, I really like the quality of the cotton sweaters from Jenny Kane. Of course, again, they're known for their cashmere. I think they're fantastic, but their cotton is just such high quality. They just really wear beautifully. They don't get all pilled up or anything like that. Um, I have the Cotton Fisherman that I just love. That's from a few years back. Like these last. So yes, they are an investment, but then they're just sort of a capsule piece that I can wear over and over again. And, and since this color, this is one of my summer colors when I had my colors done, all of the blues were my colors, the navies, the light blues, all this. But indigo blue was definitely one of my summer colors. So I just had to pick this up because it's such a kind of beautiful cotton sweater. This looks so cute with cream jeans. And I think it would be perfect on a night where it is, you know, if it's been warm during the day, but then it cools off at night. And I just thought it would be so cute with cream jeans and then my little Sam Edelman slides. Just another little fun kind of casual outfit, but you're still going to look put together. So had to mention this because I'm obsessed with this color and this cotton sweater. Just beautiful. Okay, those are the tangible favorites from the month of April. Again, snuck a few trips in there. Had a fabulous trip to Atlanta for Easter with my whole family. So that was a highlight. We had the best time. I love the city of Atlanta. So as usual, thank you so much for watching and I will be back with another video soon.